Uh, Did we want to mention about Rexart while we were oh, here? Oh, gosh, yes. Okay, guys. So let me just grab something real quick. They now have frames for 12 by 12s with panels, quarter inch and eighth inch, and two different sizes of frames. Let me um, just spotlight you here. So, um, this is our granddaughter's painting, Willa. She's only three. And uh, I, I videotaped all the um, colors that she wanted to paint in this painting. And as I pointed out, my whole series <laughs> is her colors. I, I wrote the names of the colors on the back of her painting, right? So it's there forever. And uh, this is a precious painting, so I'm gonna frame it for her. And look at the frame, it's all basswood. Now this is the shallower, I think, let me check. Um, there are two depths of these frames and they're made by Rexart and Lisa's going to post there. She's got the, yes, got the coupon up. And if you yeah. go to the website, they are published and you can purchase them and you can finish them with cold wax and oil or varnish or paint. And yes, the two sizes there. Yeah, that way you're able to Yeah, so it's in depth. So this guy is one and three eighths here, almost one and a half, not quite yeah. one and a half. This one is one and seven eighths, so almost two inches. Now, a lot of you guys might have a preference, right? Um, obviously the difference and the reason that they're doing this is cost. This, the one and three eighths will be cheaper than the one and seven eighths, okay? And then as Lisa pointed out, we will do another video um, just about these frames and show you guys like a lot of different ways to finish them. You can varnish them with varnish. You can also just rub some cold wax medium on there. I've done that. That's what I usually do to seal in the wood. Um, just a thin layer and then you can buff it, you know. You can paint it a color. So like I asked my son, you know, what color do you want me to paint the frame? And at first he said black, which black would be nice. But then he decided he just wanted it to be clear. So I will put either a clear varnish, um, polyurethane, or you can use some gloss medium, or you can use matte medium, um, you know, whatever you want. But the color of the wood is actually quite nice. And these, so there are two, two things. Um, uh, number one, yes, there's a coupon um, for all of you guys who are part of my school, Art and Success. Um, so they've given you a code, you get 10% off all of your frame orders through the end of July. And now these guys are a, um, they're a family company and they're, everything that they do is made in the USA. So they don't outsource anything. And um, they have packages. So you can buy like the frames in packages, like, like a two pack or a six pack as far as the frames go. And then you can also opt to have these panels, which are eighth inch. Okay, so the thing about the eighth inch panel is that they absolutely fit their frame because they're making both the frame and the panel, right? So that's an advantage because I'll tell you, I bought some of these guys on Amazon and because they're not square, they don't fit in these panels, these frames, which are square. That's right. So the advantage, right, is that, you know, you know that if you paint something on their panels, it's gonna fit their frame. And that's actually really great. The other thing they're doing is they're sending several panels, like, I don't know, five or six, if you opt for that option. And the cool thing about that, that I encourage you to do, is paint a series. When you develop them all, you've got five of these guys. And one of them is like your favorite. Well, that's the one that gets the frame. And now you're going to be like those other four. I'm going to finish those, and I'm going to, and I'm going to, I'm going to um, definitely frame them. So it'll kind of like if you if you buy these panels with the frames, you're going to be like number one, think in terms of a series perhaps, and you're going to get several frames with your panels, and so that you're going to want, you're going to have, be all set to go. You're going to have everything in place, um, drawing you into the studio um, to play first. Choose a couple limitations for your series if you're, you know, if you're able to do that, and then you'll find that, you know, you really will be able to clarify your personal voice and get it to a point where you're really, really happy with it. So, um, Lisa, is that everything that we want to cover? I think so. Yes, and and I did a couple people mentioned that it is USA only, and another person asked about encaustic, and yes. Oh, okay. I have an encaustic. Lisa, do you have an encaustic you want to pop in? Um, yeah. So this is encaustic. Can you see? It works great. And matter of fact, that's what I'm doing right now uh, with the ones that I have from Rexart. So 
Yeah, they're doing wonderfully. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing, show up the thickness of your board. Is that eighth inch? Yes, this is an eighth. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have, an, I have a quarter inch board. This is an ampersand panel and I do a lot of my encaustic on, on that. So this is just what I, I think what I did on this one is I just did a monotype. I wanna show you how um, it doesn't matter which of the depths, you know, like the, the one and three eighths or one and seven eighths, same thing. But I wanted you guys to see that whether you use an eighth inch deep panel or the ampersand panel, um, it fits in there just fine. See, so it's um, flush. And, and the reason for that, you can see it's flush, is that um, when I gave them the specs for my frames that I had, again, made at a local cabinet maker, which I had to buy 50 at a time in order to get him to do it, I said, uh, I need to your frames to accommodate eighth inch or quarter inch. So quarter inch is flush. It's just slightly, I'd say, just a hair below the surface. Um, but the good thing is that most of us, you know, um, if we're working in caustic, we don't need to really go thicker than an eighth inch or quarter inch. And and also, again, this, these frames are for flat panels. The advantage here is that flat panels are so much less expensive than cradle panels. And um, what you're buying here is the cradle. The frame is the cradle. So it's kind of like you're only going to cradle those paintings that you love. And that's what you're buying their frames for. The frame provides the cradle. It's as if um, this whole thing was a cradle panel, and but you 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 know you have a cradle panel, you just invested a whole lot more than a flat panel, and then the frames are quite affordable. So again, we hope you guys like them. Um, I, I ordered a ton of custom panels, and um, I'm going to mount my monotypes on them. And and again, the the reason why I used Rexart originally was because I needed custom sizes. Um, and Lisa told me about Rexart, um, and I, I also had known about them but never tried them. And then when I found out Lisa was using them, I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna try it then. And yeah, awesome frames, awesome company. Thank you guys. Thank Thanks. you for being here.